Because if so, I'm going to have to play this game twice. So I can do a playthrough without getting a whole bunch of game overs. Maybe X, X Hunters won't show up in stages you've completed. And if you manage to get all the way to the Doppler levels... Actually, I'm not sure, because this could go one of two ways. One, like you can beat, like say I beat six Mavericks, just getting lucky and not encountering the X-Hunters, right? Or, like what happened in this stage, encountering them, taking the game over, or taking the loss, and then he, he takes off and doesn't hang out in the level anymore after that. Okay, say it happens six times in a row. The remaining two levels should always have X-Hunters in them. But what if they don't? What if you can get through all of the bosses without fighting X-Hunters? Maybe that's how you lock yourself out of Vile. I feel like I'm going to go to Blast Hornet next to take care of some of these crates. Remove the obstacle. I have to do it before Beetle anyway, don't I? Actually, that's... Yeah, you need to destroy the crates in order to open a heart tank or something, I think, in Beetle's level. There it is! And then, when he jumps over you, like, he always jumps over you, like Toad Man does. And then you want to put the ice right on top of him, and then he doesn't ever fire his acid at you. Where's my ice at? That's the strategy. Oh, okay. So if you're too far away, your ice comes out. But it, like, freezes in front of you for a second before it starts moving. And then one of two things can happen. Uh, either he'll throw his acid over your head and now it's bouncing behind you and it'll damage you. Or he'll put his acid, like, in front of him in his chest, firing it at you. And it'll eat up your ice shot. Well, good. I'm glad we finally took down Seahorse. You get green attack. Awesome. All right. So that's four down, and I want to make sure that I kill the, all of the X Hunters. I think I'm going to go to Hornet next. I don't have his weakness, but I want to start unlocking these ride armors and stuff. And, I don't know, maybe I'll get there and he's not that hard. Who knows? <laughs> I think he's my favorite Maverick from this game, though. I think he strikes the correct balance between, like, really silly looking, but also kind of threatening. And his stage music doesn't completely... entirely suck. I mean, it's still not terrific, but... But this stage is, like... Doppler's Weapons Depot, right? So if we destroy the Weapons Depot... It makes the other stages easier. Ooh, I want to go up here, don't I? Can I go up there? Maybe not. Maybe I'm tricking myself. Big jump! Yeah, we definitely want to go up there. There is definitely a ledge up there. How am I gonna do it? Almost certainly right armor is the answer here. One of the right armors can fly, I want to say. But part of the reason all these enemies kind of feel like a little tankier and grindier than usual is because there are much weaker versions of each one. Yeah, there's a right armor there, but I have to unlock right armor from later in this level, I think. But they had to allow for to be weaker versions 
of all of the enemies, so you kind of start out with the stronger versions. Then once you get to the Doppler levels, you fight the stronger versions regardless. Oh, is Bit going to be back to shut me down once again? I don't remember what this is. Oh, right, you want to shoot this thing just as it's coming at you. Because it jumps whenever it takes a shot. Well, in that phase, anyway. Has to be a wireframe uh, boss fight in this game. If you didn't know, X2 and X3 both have, like, expensive proprietary chips soldered into their cartridges so they can make... Like, wireframe graphics like that. The SNES can't do that by default. So the games were actually way more expensive than just a standard Super Nintendo game at the time. For that reason. So I want to come down here. Yeah, and then tunnel Rhino my way through this wall. down here. So that's the first right armor. That actually counts as an item pickup in this game. And then whenever I go to one of those right armor platforms now, I'll have the option of selecting this kind of default right armor. You can actually do the right armor's health in this game, too. So these are all the crates. The idea here is that Doppler is delivering crates full of enemies to the other stages. And if we destroy them all, the other stages won't get them. I don't know if it's like each of these crates represents the stage, like if you let one slip through, do you still get the benefits of... I have no idea, but... I wouldn't be surprised if X doesn't let Zero do this either. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. I wonder if I should have counted this. Were there seven of those? Like one for each of the other Maverick stages? Who knows? I want to say there's a heart tank up here. There sure is. Oh, my right armor's gone. Oh, you know what? It's a good thing, because I don't want to go through the boss door with right armor. I don't know if you can, but the achievement description says not to. This guy again. I haven't seen the other one at all. There is another X Hunter somewhere in this game. I want to jump a second after he does. Don't I? Yeah, I do. Then I think when he does his, either of his projectiles, I just want to deal with it. Really? Two of these <laughs> at once? Two of these as well? I don't have a good answer for two at once. I thought I was doing okay. That must be a desperation move. Like, you get him into the second phase and he starts doing two of each. I thought I had a good thing going. Well, you know what? I'm going to save. We weren't going to beat Blast Horde anyway. We just wanted to destroy those crates. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back to... 
We got acid. Acid works on rhino. Rhino works on catfish. So electricity must work on crawfish. And we'll try to go into the vile stage here. Oh, I want armor before vile. Where's the armor in this game? <clears throat> the helmet will tell me where the armor is. It can help show you what's in each level, but I don't have the helmet either, so... Uh, hello? There we go. I pushed the wrong button and didn't get my right armor. Alright. Oh, you know, we don't want right armor anyway, because first we have to break this floor. There's another right armor chip. And I th think... So that was the N, that's the normal one. This is the H. H for Hawk? Yeah, here we go. So this is the right armor that you get in Mega Man X4 in Storm Eagles, or Storm Owls level. I want to go up there. I still have my right arm, which is nice. Then over here to the right. We can use right arm to break this wall. Ah, heart piece. Uh, I want to say this goes down to Vile. It does. Well, let's see if we can get... Get down here. Oh, we need right armor to get through there, I'll bet. But I'll bet it despawned. I didn't want to take the right armor down here. Because who, knows, who knew if I would be able to keep it, you know? We can go back and get another one, though. Not that way. Try not to take any damage. There we go. If we're very careful, we can use the right armor as a damage shield, so any energy that drops will go into our sub tanks instead of in my stupid face. So we can drop straight down here. straight down here. Oh, it's okay. It's a pink capsule. We do not want to get that. I'm banning the right armor again. <laughs> I know for a fact that Catfish has a vile fight. This guy again. It's the same guy every time, dude. He has a friend. We just haven't seen him. Is it just me or my sound effects cutting out? I feel like I keep losing my sound effects. I know the Legacy Collections aren't the best collections on the market. But... Let's 
trying to get up and over him there. Do I have any energy? Nah, not really. I feel like back in the day what would happen is I would show up to the bit fight with his weakness and I wouldn't be under a constraint where I couldn't fight him with the weakness. So I must have never practiced that fight with just the Mega Buster. The other one I want to say is a lot easier. Once we finally find Bite, wherever he is, I want to say that fight's a lot simpler. But he doesn't want to play. Alright, is he still going to be in here? Yes, he is. Okay, I think he's always going to start with a ring. It didn't go along the floor, though. I almost have to go up and over him when he does the ring on the ground like that. That's going to just be two hits every time, isn't it? If I don't dodge his attack, his uh, homing attack. The problem is when I jump his attack, it also leaves me in a bad position to bait out his air dash. And now he's in doubles. Yeah, at half health he goes to doubles. I'm getting very grumbly at bit here. Really? That's the damage that I'm going to take right there? So much for filling up my energy tanks, I guess. Uh, we're, just, we're just gonna have to grind this fight out. It'll go a lot easier once I find the armor, wherever it is. But I can't bring to mind where it's located. We might just have to stumble across it somewhere. Because the armor will just reduce our the damage that we sustain. So it's like doubling our health meter. And he still wants to play. All right. So I've seen him do ring low and ring high first. See, there I had to jump the ring, but that left me in a terrible position to bait his air dash. If he air dashes too low to the ground, there's no dodging it without going up and over the wall. Okay, that went pretty good. Oh, I jumped way too early there. And now we're doubling up. Get under him! No. Ah! I do not know what I'm supposed to do here. When, when he throws out two of each projectile, I just do not... He controls too much space. I don't know where I can go that's safe. Uh, well, he doesn't want me to do crawfish right now. I kind of want to do crawfish, though. I wonder if I should go to catfish and try to get into Vile's level. No, I need that armor. Where is the armor at? Okay, this had boots. This had the gun. I want to say there's a pink chip here late in the stage. Uh, we saw the pink chip here.
So... I've got a Gravity Beetle. Now I'm going to go back to Tiger. I can kill Tiger without his weakness, I think. I guess we'll find out. Uh, then Beetle is weak to Tiger's weapon. Because Beetle is a pretty terrible boss fight otherwise, I want to say as well. Oh, let me up! Oh, that mosquito was going to get me killed. Shoutouts to Treble for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you'd like to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.